World Defence Show uh, is between the 4th to the 8th of February 2024. It's being hosted in Riyadh and it's the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia's uh, World Defence Show. It's a show focusing on defence and primarily the five domains, which is land, air, sea, space and security. And within that, uh, it has a, a fabulous exhibition. It has a conference programme. It has a full content programme. And it also has land and air displays. World Defence Show uh, primarily is focused upon the 2030 vision. The Saudi Arabia 2030 vision is all about forming partnerships to meet 50% of Saudization by 2030. This is very important. But what this means is that the Kingdom is looking for partnerships with a whole host of international players from around the world as well as regionally. So not only do you have all the world's leaders there within defence participating at the show, there's a huge opportunity to do more business with the Kingdom and to grow with the Kingdom and be part of that standardisation programme. So that is one of the, the core reasons for the show, not least as well as a great facility to show latest technology and innovation in what is a world-class platform. It's a fabulous facility and it's been dedicatedly built to deliver defence events. We have within the um, exhibition the Space Arena. It's new for 2024 show. We're actually very excited about it. It's based in our, in our temporary new hall, Exhibition Hall 3, and it will focus very much on space, the future, how it's going to look by 2030, if not by 2050. It's going to give exhibitors an opportunity uh, to share their thoughts and their visions, be part of the content programme, as well as as an area and a platform for the Kingdom itself to, to demonstrate and to talk about their interests in space. We've got the Saudi Space Agency participating, CST and the MOD also talking about space and sharing internationally with international partners what, how does space look moving forward. So I, I think the programme is really important. I'm not the world's expert on it, but what I do know is that there's a real drive to, to deliver that 2030 vision of standardisation of defence within the Kingdom of 50% is what they're driving for. They need to have partners to do that. And they want people and international companies to help invest within the Kingdom to work closely together to help them to achieve that target. So there's an enormous amount of opportunities. First is a pure defence show in a very dedicated exhibition area. It's one of the, I would say, even though we only had the launch show last, last time in 2022, the size, not least the size, but the content and the quality of the exhibitors is certainly punching way above the weight that we originally thought. So I would say that it's definitely on an equal par with IDEX and with other shows. Uh, so yes, it's doing extremely well. So what we're focused about is innovation and technology and where does that start? That starts at the research and development and the universities and we actually have a World Defence Show um, hub that is focusing on the research and development and the universities and we're encouraging them to participate where they'll be able to demonstrate their prototypes with the startups and their products and their ideas. We have a theatre that's dedicated for them to, to pitch, to, dis, to discuss ideas, to show their prototypes and what they're looking to do. And we also as well have an investor investee program. And that's very important because there's lots of people wanting to learn what these young up and coming companies want to do and also to have the opportunity to invest in them. So it's a very, I mean, this is where the future of defence starts is with these up and coming universities and the research and development centres. So it's a very exciting part of the program. We're actually delighted with the Turkish participation. They didn't participate um, in 2022, so we're absolutely delighted they're participating within 2024. As we speak today, we've got some 22 Turkish companies participating. We're still expecting that number to grow, and they're, they're one of the largest pavilions now at the show, so it's great to have them on board. Uh, one of our, our new features as well is the journey to the future. We found that last time, uh, we were asked at the very last minute how, how many exhibitors are demonstrating new products? What's new? What's happening at the show? And we asked our exhibitors and over 122 of them came back with products that have never been seen outside of their country or at an exhibition before. And the wow, so really the future of defence is actually at the show. It's all around the exhibition hall. So this time we're reaching out to our exhibitors early. We're saying to them, what's new? What have you got? What would you like to highlight? 
and then we're going to map it throughout the show. So you're almost doing like a trail through the show where we're going to point out if you go into this hall, you don't forget to see these companies with their latest products, don't forget to go here and there. So we're highlighting throughout the hall where all the innovation and technology is because it's actually in the halls itself.